The rumored increase in display size for the iPhone 16 Pro and Pro Max has sparked mixed reactions among users. Currently, the iPhone 15 Pro and Pro Max have display sizes of 6.1 inches and 6.7 inches, respectively. The reported increase to 6.3 inches and 6.9 inches for the iPhone 16 Pro models may lead some users to feel that this year's models are too large. However, initial concerns about unwieldiness may not necessarily reflect the actual user experience. Apple could potentially enlarge the screens without making the phones overly cumbersome. Photos of the iPhone 16 Pro Max dummy shared by leaker Majin Buu indicate that while the upcoming model appears larger than its predecessor, it doesn't seem excessively so. Apple's border reduction structure, BRS technology, aimed at achieving thinner bezels, might help maintain the overall size of the phone despite the increase in display size. Furthermore, leaked images suggest that the camera module on the iPhone 16 Pro Max will be larger than that of the iPhone 15 Pro Max. The new model is expected to feature a larger sensor, potentially enhancing its photography capabilities and positioning it as one of the top camera phones of 2024. However, the larger camera module could affect the phone's handling, and the addition of a new capture button aimed at photographers indicates a focus on improving the user experience for photography enthusiasts. Overall, while the iPhone 16 Pro Max may look largely similar to its predecessor, the larger size and bigger camera module may have implications for its manageability. What are your thoughts on these potential changes? Let me know in the comments section. Stay tuned for more updates to help you decide which model suits your preferences. If you're new here, hit subscribe for the latest information. Now let's dive into the full details of the standard iPhone 16. iPhone 16. Display. 6.3 inch OLED display. LTPS with a taller aspect ratio protected by ceramic shield too. Design, new dynamic island covering the 12MP selfie camera and face ID sensors. Cameras, 12MP primary camera, 12MP ultrawide. Processor, a 18 chipset. Memory, 6 GB RAM, up to 512 GB storage. Battery, 3450 mAh battery with 30 W fast charging. Connectivity, advanced 5G, Bluetooth 5.3, Wi-Fi 7, software, iOS 18. Expected launch price, around $850, September 2024. iPhone 16 Plus. Display, 6.9 inch OLED display, LTPS, with a taller aspect ratio, protected by ceramic shield too. Design, new dynamic island covering the 12 MP selfie cameras and face ID sensors. Cameras, 12MP primary camera, 12MP ultrawide. Processor, a 18 chipset. Memory, choice of 6GB RAM, up to 512GB storage. Battery, 4420 mAh battery with 30W fast charging. Connectivity, advanced 5G, Bluetooth 5.3, Wi-Fi 7. Software, iOS 18. Expected launch price, around $950, September 2024. iPhone 16 Pro. Display, 6.3 inch 120 Hz LTPO OLED display, taller aspect ratio, protected by Ceramic Shield 3. Design, new dynamic island covering the 12 MP selfie camera and face ID sensors. Cameras, 48 MP primary camera, 48 MP ultra wide, 12MP Tato Prism camera with 5x optical zoom. Processor, a 18 Pro chipset. Memory, 8GB RAM, up to 1TB storage. Battery, 3450 mAh battery. Fast charging details unknown. Connectivity, advanced 5G, Bluetooth 5.3, Wi-Fi 7. Software, iOS 18. Expected launch price, around $1,100, September 2024. iPhone 16 Pro Max. Display, 6.9 inch 120 Hertz LTPO OLED display, taller aspect ratio, protected by Ceramic Shield 3. Design, dynamic island covering the 12 MP selfie cameras and face ID sensors. Cameras, 48 MP primary camera, 48 MP ultra wide, 12MP Tato Prism camera with 5x optical zoom. Processor, a 18 Pro chipset. Memory, 8GB RAM, up to 1TB storage. 
Battery, 4,500 mAh battery, fast charging details unknown. Connectivity, advanced 5G, Bluetooth 5.3, Wi-Fi 7. Software, iOS 18. Expected launch price, around $1,300, September 2024. So overall, the iPhone 16 series is looking like a great addition to the iPhone lineup. More things remain similar. There are still plenty of upgrades with the new hardware to power it better and brighter displays along with the new battery thermal technology. This should really enhance the experience and work well with the new of features now, of course, because of all the similarities to its predecessor, is probably not going to make anyone with an iPhone 15 rush for an upgrade. But for anyone with an older iPhone or looking to get their first iPhone, that it's going to be a great choice now, of course, as we approach the launch, more and more information is going to continue to come in, and I'll be sharing it as soon as it does, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss a thing in the future. So what are your thoughts on this new camera enhancement? Share it down below in the comment section.